Hello, welcome to the 2022 CTSM mini tutorial. Today I'm going to walk you through the initial steps of the tutorial, including signing onto the platform we will be using to run the simulations, downloading the necessary tutorial materials, and going through our first tutorial notebook. Through this tutorial, we will introduce you to running the Community Terrestrial Systems Model, or CTSM. We will go over several configurations of CTSM, as well as some tools for running and developing the model, including running CTSM at a supported NEON tower site, running a global fates simulation, running CTSM at a generic single point, and modifying CTSM code and keeping track of your changes using GitHub. So first we need to sign on to the platform we will be using for this tutorial. So in your web browser of choice, go to the GitHub page for this tutorial. The link can be seen here. Here you can navigate to this link, ctsmworkshop2022.cesm.cloud. This will prompt you to enter your username and password provided to you. If you don't know this, you can contact the tutorial leads, which are shown here. This will then launch a Jupyter Lab in your browser. In this browser, we have a terminal window that should open up, but if it doesn't, you can just click on it here. So now we're going to download the notebooks associated with this tutorial. Let's go back to this README. And we're going to copy this command from the README. And then we're going to paste it back into the terminal window in Jupyter Lab. And this will give you a local copy of all the tutorial material you'll need. We can see that a folder should appear in the navigation window on the left. Yep, if we click on that and then into the notebooks folder, we can see all of the notebooks we'll be using during this tutorial. As homework, you should complete both day zero tutorials. Let's walk through day zero A now. So this tutorial is an intro to CTSM, CESM Lab, the platform we're using, and Git. This tutorial is also a prerequisite for the following tutorials. So we will be working with CTSM for this tutorial. CTSM is the Community Terrestrial Systems Model. There are many configurations of CTSM, and in this tutorial, we will be using the Community Land Model, or CLM, which is the climate and biogeochemistry mode of CTSM. CTSM is the land component of the Community Earth Systems Model and is connected via SEAM. We will go over these topics later in the tutorial. There's also more information available on various websites, which are linked on this tutorial's notebook. So we're currently working in CESM Lab, which is a containerized environment with CESM and Jupyter Lab. Now, CTSM requires quite a bit of computing resources and libraries that can be difficult to set up on a new computing system. So CESM Lab allows you to easily run the model in any type of system, including uh, the cloud or your own personal computer. So what is a container? A container is a pre-configured portable application that can reliably run on any computing infrastructure, including your Mac, Windows, or Linux personal computer, or in the cloud. Because it's pre-configured, no installation is required and all users get the same environment. Now during this tutorial, we will be using Jupyter Notebooks. These are interactive computing environments that allow you to run discrete cells of the text or documentation, as well as executable code. And to execute these cells, you can hit the run button with your cursor inside the executable cells. Any results from your code, including plots, will appear below that cell. Now just note that you usually need to run each cell in order, otherwise you may encounter some errors. So a lot of this tutorial will require some simple Linux command line operations. You can either run these commands directly inside the Jupyter Notebook, or you can copy them and run them in a terminal window. So like on other systems, like your own computer or NCAR Cheyenne machine, you will likely be using a terminal to interact with and run the model. So let's check out the terminal window now. OK, let's go over some basic Linux commands. To see what directory you're in, type pwd. To see what's in your current directory, type ls. The command cd changes into a new directory. Here I am moving into the tutorial directory. Typing cd dot dot moves up one directory. 
So this directory structure should mirror what you see on the left-hand side of the notebook. Okay, now let's clone the CTSM code base from GitHub onto our system. All of the software and updates to CTSM are publicly available on GitHub. Here you can find information about the software, create and track issues, and download the code. Git is a version control system that allows you to track changes you make to the files. GitHub provides a centralized online service to host your files and implement Git version control. We will cover many features of Git and GitHub in one of our day two tutorials, but there are also some other places to start learning, which are linked in this notebook. So let's go to the CTSM GitHub repository. Here we're going to click on the green code button and we will see a link that we can use to copy the URL to this repository. Back in the Jupyter Notebook, we can run these cells below to clone the source code. Note that you can either copy these commands and paste them in the Jupyter Terminal, or you can run them here by hitting the Run button or entering Command Enter on your keyboard. This command will clone and set up the CTSM source code in your home directory. Now we need to move into this new directory and run the checkout externals command. This command clones and sets up other GitHub repositories that are needed to run CTSM. So once you've completed this command, you're all set up for running simulations with CTSM in the cloud. Next, you should move on to the Day Zero B tutorial, which will walk you through running a simulation at a supported Neon Tower site. If you've encountered any problems with this or the next tutorial, you can file an issue on the NCAR CTSM tutorial GitHub repository page, linked here, or you can email the tutorial leads. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all soon.